Hello, Libra viewers. Let's see what's going on with you guys. As most of you guys know, I typically do mid-month and beginning of the month Zodiac videos, and I'll continue to do those, but I've also switched things up a bit, and I'm now doing third-party readings as well. And um, doing third-party readings, and I'm also doing soulmate and twin flame readings. So we've got betrayal, jealousy, conflict, sex, seduction, isolation, loneliness, emptiness, choose a path. There's some kind of hesitation here about choosing a path though. Let me switch these up for you a little bit. Loyalty, stability, vows, fast-moving energy, chaos, new love, faded encounter, shyness, fear of rejection. Chaser, chasey, power struggle. It's a power struggle with this energy over here. What I'm getting, let me pull a couple more actually. <laughs> pull two more. Yeah, this is a third party reading here. So, what I'm getting here is that you are caught up in a toxic pattern with someone. And this person honestly is, I hate to say it because I know it hurts, but I feel like this person's just not your person. I don't know if they're like in love with somebody else or what the situation might be, but I'm feeling like, and I, I know that you guys hate hearing this, okay? Like, do not shoot the messenger. I, I am unbiased. I am not giving my own personal opinion here. I'm just channeling the messages as they come through. So please do not attack me for it. This is not even, this isn't me. This is, you know, and this is either your story or it isn't. Maybe this isn't, maybe this is for a specific group of Libras. So don't try to make it fit if it's not resonating. You know what I mean? Like this is, it's going to resonate with you if it's your story. So keep that in mind. And I'm sorry because I know that you guys, I, I hate giving painful readings but it's, it's, it's painful, but it's beautiful in a sense because you have someone here that's meant for you. You have someone here that does want you. Look at how this person like looks at, look at how they look at each other. Look at the, the passion. There's a very strong sexual energy here too. This is passion. This is true love. This is romance. And this could come in very quickly for you. But I feel like some of you are not aligning with it. Like you're trying to align with it, but you're holding on to past energy. Now, this could be a pattern. This doesn't necessarily mean that all of you are holding on to a specific person. Maybe you just have these, these. Um, I think this is what this card wanted to say. So I'll put it away after this. I think this card just wanted to say like maybe you have these insecurities like this shyness. Maybe some of you are trying to meet this new person, but you're not getting off the couch, like you're, you're trying to manifest this person, but you're, you're exhausted and you're not really going out to meet people and you're not really joining dating apps or you're not putting yourself in a position to meet these people. Or like possibly you're just kind of repeating old patterns because it's like you still have these insecurities and fears of rejection and like shyness and that kind of energy that needs to be worked through. So it's almost like the universe is trying to say like, hey, like you can have true love. You can have this new love that you want, but you have to align with it. And the energy I get here is kind of like you have to choose a path. Basically, I feel like a lot of you in this energy group, you guys are kind of in limbo. It's like you're trying to have one foot in the past, one foot in the future, and you're very ungrounded right now. And it's kind of keeping you stuck. It's kind of like you're just standing in the doorway and it's kind of like you got to get in or get out kind of energy here is what I'm feeling. You know? And I know you guys don't want to hear that. Some of you are going to say, oh, but I, I've been through this and I've been through that and I've been manifesting, manifesting. 
Okay, but maybe you're not going out and meeting people though. Maybe you're manifesting love and you're asking for love, but you're still holding on to old ways of thinking and old patterns and old people or stagnant energy, like just kind of, you know, oh, I really want to meet someone, but I don't want to put myself out there. I don't want to actually go out and, and be social. I kind of want to just, you know, stay in my shell. I want to come home from work and just take a shower and go to sleep and just stay in bed on my days off. And I get that. I'm like that too. A lot of the time I don't want to do anything, but you know, it's one of the laws of um, attraction. It's the law of motion. Look up the law of motion that, you know, things manifest when you're moving, when you're, when you're stagnant, it, when you're doing the same old routine day in, day out, same old, you just come home from work and you're just kind of numb. You're kind of on autopilot it makes it hard for the universe to bring anyone in because you need new energy. You need to step out of that energy into new energy to, to manifest this new love. You know, the law of motion, it's like when, when you're traveling, when things are in motion, when you're out there living your life, living your best life, that's when the universe can bring you these blessings. But when the energy is stagnant and you're doing the same old, same old, it's like, how are you, how are you going to find your true love if you're if you're sitting on the couch binge watching Netflix for eight hours, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, where do you think you're going to find your true love? You know, and I know it's hard. I am not, I am not judging at all. I know it. I've been there plenty of times. I get it. It's hard, especially if you're damaged and you're heartbroken or there's someone else that really let you down. It's hard. It is hard to put yourself out there again. It's hard to meet people again. It's hard to change old patterns. I'm not saying it's not hard, but I'm saying some of you are contradicting yourself because you're asking for love, but you're not putting yourselves in situations where you could find love and manifest love. Does that make sense? Or like possibly you're trying to, but it's like you're holding on to old patterns and old ways of thinking. So for some of you, I feel like you're holding on to, um, this could just be like a certain relationship pattern, like going for abusive or emotionally unavailable people, people that don't want you. And it's like, you're repeating that pattern. And it's like, you kind of have to choose. Do you want to, you know, if you want something you never had, you have to do something you've never done. You have to put yourself out there and kind of let go of this energy. That's not for you anymore. This is just not, this energy is not really quite meant for you anymore. If that makes sense. Um, Cause there's some kind of third party energy here. And I'm honestly, I hate to say it because I know it hurts. I know it hurts. And I hate, I I hate to say it. I'm so sorry because I love my followers. I love you guys. Do not shoot the messenger, please. I am just relaying the messages. And if this is not your story, don't please, I like, don't get defensive. Like if this is, if this doesn't resonate, then it's not your story. There's no need to get defensive. If this doesn't resonate for you, you know, because I know when people are told something they don't want to hear, they always get mad about it. And I'm like, well, okay, if it, if it doesn't resonate, then it's not for you. But if this is a truth, a painful truth that you haven't been acknowledging, then yeah, it is for you. I don't know what else to say. Um, you know, I tell it like it is on this channel and this is what the message is. But I, I, there is pain in this message. Don't get me wrong, but there is a lot of hope because if you break these patterns, whatever this is, you have new love. You have a faded encounter. You have someone coming in quicker than you realized. Really quicker than you realized. Fast moving energy. Tower moment. Sudden, like a good tower. A positive tower. Sudden turn of events. Because I'm honestly feeling like, okay, some of you are holding on to someone that doesn't want you. And I'm sorry. I know that's so harsh. But some of you are holding on to a third party and you were the karmic in that situation like you are to, you're a divine feminine or you're a divine masculine I'm not saying okay so like the thing is like everyone's a karmic for someone and everyone's a divine feminine or divine masculine for someone does that make sense like I've been I've been people's karmics before and I've also been people's divine feminine before does that make sense like it depends on the role. It depends on the person. And with this new love, you are the divine feminine or you are the divine masculine. You are this person's everything. Look at how they look at each other. Look how beautiful that energy is. It almost, it reminds me, I don't know if any of you guys watch Once Upon a Time, but it reminds me of, um, you remember season one? where the evil queen was trying to keep Snow White and Prince Charming apart. And like, yeah, she caused issues for them here and there. But in the end, it didn't work. They came back together because it's it's a past life connection. It's, it's a twin flame connection. You can't really, 
separate twin flames. I mean, you can cause issues for them here and there, but you can't ultimately separate twin flame or soulmate couples for, for long. You know what I mean? But I remember, you know, she was trying to, the evil queen was trying to get, um, David's ex, uh, Catherine to, she was using her as a pawn to try to cause issues for Snow White and Prince Charming. And in the end, Catherine goes to the evil queen, which she thinks is her friend, but really the whole time the evil queen's been using her as a pawn. And Catherine shows them this picture of Mary Margaret and Prince Charming. And she's like, like, look at how they look at each other. Look how in love with her he is. Look at his eyes. Look at how his eyes just light up. Look how happy they are. Like, I want someone who looks at me like that. Why do I, why would I want to take this from this couple? That's not my person anymore. I want someone who looks at me like that. I want to travel. I want to move to it. Someone might be moving to a new location, starting your life over to find your person. You know, it's like, you know, in the end, Catherine was like, you know what? I was a karmic in that situation. I want to move on and, you know, find someone that is for me. I want to find my person. Like, and she felt silly in the end. She was like, why am I trying to trying with this person that looks at me like I'm chopped liver? Like, why do I keep trying with this person who's not giving me the time of day? They're, they're ignoring me. They leave me on red. They cheat on me. They abuse me. They, you know, make it clear that they don't want a future with me. Like, you know, in the end, she was like, what was I thinking? Like, why would I want that for myself? I want to love myself more than that. And I want to end these patterns and maybe even move away and find this. And you can have this. This is what this reading is saying. So even though there's pain here, this reading is saying you have true love if you're willing to let go of these old situations and old toxic people or patterns. Because I hate to say it, but for some of you, you are a karmic in this situation. And this doesn't mean this person isn't your soulmate or that you didn't have a strong, deep connection with them. I'm not saying that. But for some of you, you were the third party. You were the karmic. And this was a soulmate or twin flame couple. And, you know, the person you thought was your person, your end all be all, you know, betrayed you and made you jealous. They had sex with other people. They seduced other people. They made you feel isolated and alone and empty because maybe they love somebody else. For a lot of you, they this person did... You know, it's it's like you're trying to hold on to this person. They're trying to hold on to each other. But this masculine's looking away. He's not he's not focused on her. He doesn't care about what she's doing. She's trying to be so possessive of him, but he doesn't care. He's looking to the future. You know what I mean? Male or female, take it as it resonates. But someone here is holding on and someone here is moving on. And I'm sorry. I know that's harsh. I hate giving you guys harsh messages like this. But there's hope here. I'm going to get into the hope part here. This is beautiful. This is honestly beautiful. Painful in the moment, yes. But it's it's a beautiful reading overall. Trust me. But, um, but let me get let me wrap this up here. But it's like, yeah, some of you have been holding on to someone that chose someone else. Some of you, it's like you thought this was your person and they ended up falling deeply in love with someone else and that karmic cycle between you guys was over and you're trying to hold on and make that karmic cycle repeat but the karmic is the karmic cycle is over like you've learned the lessons that you were meant to learn already so it's kind of like both people have to move on here at some point and this person's already moved on I'm I'm I hate to say it but this person's already moved on this if this is a person that you're holding on to they've already moved on from you even if you're still taught, like even if they're still around you, maybe you have like obligations to each other, but like mentally, emotionally, they've, they've already moved on. Their heart is with somebody else. Um, or their heart is with something else. Maybe they chose work or career over you. Maybe they just chose other things over you because you were not a priority in their life. But at some point you have to realize that you deserve more than that because you were the karmic in this situation. You know what I mean? Like this person does love somebody else or this person loves some something or someone else and they, you know, they might care about you to some degree, but there's, I don't sense a strong love there towards you, unfortunately. This is almost like a situation where it's like they chose someone else and you kept fighting for them and kept holding on to it and... They were moving on though. You know what I mean? It's almost like everything, like the universe is working against you. Like you, it's like one, it's like you're causing your own heartbreak here is honestly the feeling I get where it's like the universe is working against you because this karmic cycle has ended and this could have been a false twin flame. And now the real twin flame is trying to come in here and you're blocking the real twin flame from coming in by holding to this person that doesn't even want to be with you. I hate to say it like that, but it's true. This person wants to be with someone else. This person wants to be with their twin flame. 
You feel me? Like, and I know people are going to hate this reading, but honestly, it is what it is. It is what it is. I don't make it up. This is just what the cards and the energy are. And it, like I said, if this is not your story, then don't try to make it fit. Either It either resonates or it doesn't, you know? But I'm sorry to cause pain, but this is just, this is the truth, you know? This is the truth for, for whoever this is for. But, um... But yeah, it's like just this energy that someone's trying to hold on to a karmic cycle that's already ended. This person has already freed themselves of this. This person is already detached from you. This person has already moved on. They might be trying to be nice because they don't want to hurt your feelings, but they've already moved on. They've already moved on to someone or something else. And this is kind of the situation where it's like you caused, you're causing yourself pain because intuitively you know it's past time to let go of this. And maybe some of you are holding on to it, but it's like you're like, it's wrapped up already. You know what I mean? It's, it's like, it's like, I'm sorry. Cause I know it's painful to hear. I'm sure. And like I said, you'll know if this is for you, this will resonate. This is something that you intuitively know already. So this is not going to become as a surprise to you. It might hurt. It might feel like a tower moment, but it's something that you already know, but you've been fighting against your own intuition because it hurts too much. You know what I mean? It's almost like a situation where it's like this person cheats on you and basically is trying to push you away. You know what I mean? Where this person cheats, this person betrays you, this person lies to you, this person does whatever they want because they don't, they don't care about this connection with you anymore or they, they don't, you know what I mean? Like they might have concern for you to a degree, but they're not in love with you is what I get from this reading. Um, and it's like one of those situations where like maybe he or she goes out of town or, or goes and messes around with other people. And then you try to hold on and you try to work like you keep trying to work on it. You keep trying to work things out. You keep trying to, you know, some of you are trying to try, some of you might just be trying to work things out for some specific reason. Um, and it's like this energy of just people like like you're holding on. And it's like this person keeps showing you that they don't care about your feelings. This person keeps putting you last. This person keeps neglecting you and keeps hurting you. And you keep thinking that if you just fight for it, if you just say this, if you just do this, if you just love them enough, they're going to change. And, and they're not going to change because you were a karmic lesson for them and they were a karmic lesson for you. And that lesson's been learned already. They've already learned the lesson from this and they've moved on from it. They're just hoping and waiting for you to move on as well, honestly. And some of them could want a friendship with you. It's not saying that they hate you or anything, but some of them are just, they're not, they're not invested in, in this connection with you romantically is what I'm feeling basically. Um, because it's almost like, it's almost like this energy of like where they go cheat, they go away for the weekend and they're, you know, with someone else or they, they go to a club and they mess around with someone and come home at 2 a.m. drunk. And you're like trying to fight to make it work. And this person's showing you that they're over it, that they're, they're trying, that they're trying to move on. You know what I mean? That they're, they're not invested in this anymore. They're not interested in this anymore. And it's kind of like you, you, sh you, you know, you ignore your intuition, you ignore, you know, spirit, your spirit guides, and you try to, you know, fight for this and hold on. And it's just backfiring on you. It's just like, it's like you're causing these tower moments for yourself because the universe is trying to push this out of your life. They're trying to push both of you guys in different directions. Um, and some of you are afraid to let go. Some of you like maybe like lived together or you um, wanted to marry this person or there's just like, there's like a fear of the unknown, a fear of the uncertainty, but I can tell you that your destiny is beautiful. If you can let go of this energy here, you have someone that will look at you the way that you want to be looked at, will love you and support you the way that you want to be loved and supported, but it's just not this person. This is, this is just not your person, honestly. This is a karmic lesson. I hate to say it. I know it hurts, but it's true from what I'm getting from this reading. But, um, but yeah, it's almost like that energy of, sorry, when I channel, I kind of go on a, on a, on a rant here and there. It's almost like this energy where this person like goes out and drinks and comes home late and they just, they keep showing you that they don't care. They keep showing you that they're not invested. They keep showing you that they have no regard for your feelings. They keep showing you that they moved on. It's like they bring like, maybe you guys go to the same club and they bring a new girl to the club or a new guy to the club and you think, oh, they're trying to make me jealous. And it's like, no, they're, they're trying to show you that they moved on. They're not trying to make you jealous. Um, they know you're jealous, but they're not trying to make you jealous. They're, they're literally just done. Um, I'm sorry. I know it's harsh. I know it's harsh. I'm really sorry. But, um, 
but it's almost like when you see that you fight for them like you you ignore your intuition you suppress your intuition you fight your spirit guides and you try to say you you know you try to say oh I'm just gonna love them I'm just gonna keep fighting for it and then it's like a week later they do something else to break your heart they show up again with that same girl or same guy to the club or they go on a vacation again with someone with the person they love or they they uh you know cheat on you again they they talk shit, they talk crap about you to your fit to someone that you love again you know what I mean like same old same old and you keep fighting for it and they keep fighting you guys are like it's fighting against the current you know what I mean it's like there's going to be heartbreak after heartbreak after heartbreak tower moment after tower moment after tower moment it's not going to get better I hate to say it but it's not going to get better with this person this person someone that loves you will not put themselves in a position to lose you Honestly, someone that loves you will not put themselves in a position to, to, to lose to lose you. You know, this person is trying to move on from this. Some of you are like actually like not accepting that you're a karmic. Like you thought they were your soulmate or your twin flame and you're upset that you found out that you're actually just a karmic for them. So you're trying to hold on and maybe even like causing chaos in this person's life. And it's like you're you're only hurting yourself in the long run because ultimately this, you know, it's just not going to work. This karmic cycle is ended. You know what I mean? You're just going to cause yourself more heartbreak, more drama, more stress. This person has already moved on and, and there's not really any way to get them back. They're not going to suddenly love you. They're not, you know what I mean? Like this person has been moving on from a while from what I can feel from this energy. I'm sorry. I know that hurts. I'm sure I am sorry, guys. But from what I can feel, this person detached from you a while ago. Like this isn't new energy. This is like... This person has been looking elsewhere for a while. This person has wandering eyes here. Um, could be a cheater, but but it's like you're going to cause yourself more heartbreak. You're also going to, I hate to say it because I know that some of you are just heartbroken and you just want to be loved and I understand that. But some of you are also going to cause yourself bad karma if you overdo it because some of you I'm feeling, I'm feeling like a very intense energy with this group. Because some of you are just not willing to take no for an answer. You're like, you're really trying to hold on. But the answer is no, honestly. And some of you are going to end up causing bad karma for yourself because not only are you trying to block this person from going towards their destiny and their true love, but you're also blocking yourself from going towards your own destiny and your own true love. Because what I'm feeling with this energy is like, there's like a portal that's open where you can choose. You know, we have the choose a path card. Choose a path. Do you want to keep holding on to these old energies to someone that doesn't want you, doesn't love you? Or do you want to end this pattern of their cycle and, and have this freedom and actually go towards your destiny and have this kind of relationship that you've always wanted? Um, cause I'm just getting, I'm just getting, I hate to say it. I, there's just a warning about bad karma here. I hate to say it because some of you are really holding on tightly and you're actually, you're not creating bad karma for this person. This person's detached. They're fine. They're good. Like this person's good. But you're going to create bad karma for yourself. Because I feel like a door is open for this new love to come in. But I feel like the door is going to close soon if you keep holding on to old energies. It's almost like you're showing the universe what... Like if you're devoted to the past or the, or the, or the future, you're kind of showing the universe right now. You're showing the spirit guides around you, like what you're devoted to. And if you keep this up, honestly, this person's not going to be with you anyway. They're going to leave you anyway, but you're going to end up alone. And then you're not going to end up meeting this person that you were meant to meet. And it's very sad energy. You know what I mean? Like you're going to end up bitter and alone and this person's moved on anyway. So what's the point? What's the point of holding on to this when this person's already let it go? This person's already moved on. You know what I mean? Like. Like you're only hurting yourself here. You feel me? Like you're, you're only causing yourself heartbreak at this point. You know what I mean? Like you know intuitively the truth already. Um, so don't create bad karma for yourself, honestly, because these karmic lessons have wrapped up already. And you can set yourself free here because it, it really is a beautiful energy because some of you are hes hesitant because you're afraid of the unknown. But honestly, you have someone here, if you push through that hesitation and you let go of what's no longer serving you, what's no longer meant for you, you have this beautiful energy here too. And I know some of you are afraid of the unfamiliar. You're afraid of the unknown. But, and like I said, for some, this could be patterns. This might not be a person. This could just be like a pattern of going for emotionally unavailable people that you need to wrap this pattern up. It might not be an actual person. 
I saw 444. So, you know, angelic guidance to angels around Angel Michael, um, Angel Raphael, Angel Az Raziel, Aziel, Raziel, I don't know, Raziel, Raphael. Oh my gosh, I don't know. There's another angel, Azriel. Is that it? There's another angel around too. I don't know who it is. There's a few angels around some of these people. Anyway, it's like when you take a leap of faith though, when you end this pattern, this cycle, you break yourself free. These cords need to be cut between these people. You know what I mean? Like these cords need to be cut because this is this this situation's over. It's just it's over. I hate to say it, but it is. Um but you have this like look at this energy. It's almost like it's like it's like 10 of wands energy where it's like you're not even realizing how much weight this is, how much weight you're carrying with this person, how heavy this is, how lonely, how draining, how empty this is. And when you realize it, when you have those epiphanies, when you finally start listening to your intuition, you're going to be like, what was I thinking? Like, why did I hold on to this person? Because you're going to start realizing this was not your person either. I think that it was familiar to you. I think that there were good times with this person. But I think that if you really think about it, this was not your person either. Like you kind of drove that, like you drove each other crazy or like they, you just, there were incompatibilities where there were moments where you would just like be driving in the car with them and you would just stare out the window thinking like, is this really all there is? Like, is there really nothing better for me? Like, isn't there someone else for me? Like, is this, is this really it? And that's because it's a karmic. It's not true love. But there is something better for you. On the other side of fear, there really is. Um, you can end these patterns, these cycles. Because it's, it's, like, it's almost like you don't, you're holding onto it so tightly that you don't even realize how much it's draining you. How much it's just it's taking your energy away. It's, it's like a 10 of wands energy where it's like, you've been carrying this, these, these bricks for so long. You don't even realize that you're carrying bricks. You think it's just natural part of your back at this point. Like you're not even recognizing this heavy weight. And when you take that weight off, you're going to be like, what was I thinking? I didn't want this person either. This wasn't my person either. Why? You know, he or she can go off. I don't care anymore. Like, like, you're going to be like, what was I thinking? Why did I waste so much time and energy on that? And you've already wasted so much of your life on this person. It's like, don't waste any more of your life on this person. It's like, here, you're, you're going to feel this sense of freedom when you let go of these energies. You're going to have this breakthrough. It's like an epiphany. It's like this this emotional, spiritual energy, like where this, this weight is lifted. Look how free she looks. Like, this little bird's coming out of her chest. Birds can be relevant for you guys, too. It's like... You know what I mean? Like you're free to, to dress how you want, to be who you want. It's almost like holding on to an abusive relationship here is kind of what I get to for some. And it's like maybe this person told you you have to dress a certain way or you have to be a certain way. They, they, they blocked you from your creative artistic side. They blocked you from being your true self. And you're going to fall so in love with yourself when you finally open your eyes and listen to your intuition and let go of this energy. You're going to feel this freedom, this breakthrough, like ending these cycles. Like it's a very spiritual energy where you're like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize I was carrying all that weight. What was I thinking? It's almost like you're in a fog and you're going to be like the, the, the sun is going to come through and you're going to be like, why did I hold on to this? I didn't want this. This actually made me miserable. What was I thinking? Why was I so hell bent on, on keeping this person that didn't want me? I don't want them either. I can dress how I want now. I can wear my makeup how I want now. I can go out whenever I want now. I can be an artist now. I can be a musician now. I can I can be my free-spirited self again, you know, because this weight has lifted and I, I don't have to deal with this person's judgments. Because this person, like, didn't like things about you, honestly. Like, the things that make you who you are, the things that make you the free spirit that you are, this person didn't like those things about you. This person wanted to keep you a certain... They wanted to make you a certain way. It's almost like... This is like a karmic relationship, and it's like he wanted to make her, this karmic, his divine feminine. Like, he wanted her to be like his divine feminine, but she never could be. And vice versa. This, this feminine wanted to make this masculine, like her divine masculine, but she never could. It was almost like, they, like you guys both wanted each other to be someone else. You both wanted something else. You both always felt like the grass was greener on the other side of the fence. You both always wanted each other to be different. Like this person did not love all these things about you. This person wanted you to change. This person wanted you, you know, to fit into a role that you just couldn't fit into. 
And when you take off the weight of their judgment, of those expectations, you're gonna find this person that's crazy about you. They're gonna be crazy about you being an artist and being a musician and dressing weird and being goth and wearing your makeup a certain way and going to clubs whenever you want and you being outspoken and loud and opinionated. This other person was like overwhelmed by that. They thought that was straight ratchet energy is what I'm getting for some of you. This person's gonna be like, wow, my girl's got a mouth on her. I love it, feisty. It's gonna be like a sexual energy between you two. You know, it's like, and male or female, this applies to the LGBT community as well. But it's like this couple is just, there's gonna be so much passion. It's like, they're gonna love everything about you that this person hated. That's how you know this isn't your person because they, everything that makes you who you truly are, they couldn't stand those things. They wanted you to be someone different. This person's gonna love you just as you are and they're gonna actually be turned on by the things that this person was turned off by. And they're gonna be loyal to you. They're not gonna cheat. They're gonna, they're gonna want stability with you. They're gonna make promises to you because they're gonna be this is just going to be their person. I see like a very fiery couple, like could be, could be um, like, a, like fire sign, fire energy in both your charts, but I see like fiery, like passionate energy here. Like both of you have a mouth on you. Both of you are outspoken, but you're going to be like turned on. Like you're going to be like a, this almost like two alphas together. Like, you know what I mean? Like you're going to challenge each other and keep each other on your toes, but in the right ways. Like it's a very sexual, very romantic, very deep relationship where you guys like, talk crap to each other but in like a playful way it's a very beautiful energy and yeah I feel like once you let this weight off you're gonna be like why did I, I what was I thinking I can't believe I wasted so much time and energy and so much of my life force on this ew like you're gonna like be disgusted by this person you're gonna be like ew what was I thinking and when you have this you're gonna be like okay this is what I was waiting for this is what I wanted this is, this is, you're going to know the difference. You're going to be like, this is destiny. This is what true love feels like. It never felt like this with this person, but it's going to feel like this with this new person. I hope that makes sense. If you'd like a private reading, email me. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. My email is right below in the description box below this video. Make your move, green light. Power struggle. Yeah, you're going to have a new perspective that things were just going in circles with this person. And when you have this new perspective, when you stop and you listen to your spirit guides, you listen to the synchronicity, you're going to you're gonna want to let go of this karmic cycle. You're going to realize that you've been in the dark for so long and you're going to have this new perspective. And when you have this new perspective, you're stepping into new energy and that's when true love and abundance is going to flow to you. True love and abundance now flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open-mindedness, your faith, and your bravery. So it's like you're in this merry-go-round, this stagnant energy, this very controlled, very toxic energy. And once you release all that, you set yourself free and be the person you want to be and go towards your destiny. You know, as a result of this open-mindedness, this new perspective, going, getting off the couch, going out, living your best life, you know, having faith, being brave letting go of control issues as a result of that you have someone loyal and stable a king or queen of pentacles energy coming in that's going to love you the way you've always wanted to be loved this is your person this was a false twin flame for many of you and this is the real twin flame that's coming in so very beautiful energy overall even though it might be painful in the moment but honestly set yourself free guys just set yourself free so you can have this new love because this person is destined to go off with someone or something else and you're destined to go off with someone and something, someone or something else. And honestly, you're both going to be happy. You're going to be happy with this person. You're going to be so much happier with this person. So I hope this makes sense. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Maybe someone needs to hear this too. So please share the message.